I knew from the time I was about 10 years old that I wanted to be a musician. It was my thing. It was what I could do well and what made me stand out. But most importantly, it was a world apart from everything else, a place where I could put my focus and create. To my 10-year-old self, that felt like magic. And it had the added bonus of being the thing that garnered the most praise from the grown-ups. Naturally, I wanted to cling to that feeling for the rest of my life. So I established a path to a career as an orchestra player and followed it diligently all the way through graduate school. By the end of my doctoral coursework, I'd performed with orchestras, recorded for a major record label, commissioned and premiered new pieces for my instrument, and even watched my students meet their own goals. Against all odds, I was doing pretty well in this ridiculously competitive field, and my future was looking promising. But there was something missing. You're taught very early as a musician that there's no room for doubt, but it was time to finally admit what I'd known deep down for a long time, that what I'd spent my entire life working for simply wasn't enough on its own. I needed to find a way to meet the needs of my heart. I needed to be making a difference. You see, I'd always seen success as one thing only, winning a job in a major orchestra. There wasn't any room for anything else. But when I allowed myself to really see, I discovered that I didn't have to choose, that making a difference didn't have to be instead of, it could be in addition to, and that that kind of synergy could be immensely powerful. And in one magical stroke of genius, I realized that there was a way I could do everything I loved at once. I could start an after-school music program for kids in underserved communities. So I set this as a long-term goal, moved to Atlanta, and got to work establishing myself in my new city, having no idea that the very program I had dreamed of creating was already in the works, right in my own backyard. Now, I pretend that I don't believe in signs, but when I found out that the Atlanta Music Project was starting up right when I moved here, that was a sign to me. I knew I'd made the right decision. And it was then that I began to really see where I was headed. Now, the tagline for the Atlanta Music Project is music for social change. There are plenty of studies showing how learning music has a positive impact on academic performance, verbal development, cognitive function, et cetera. And if you had asked me in the beginning how we were planning to affect change, those are the things I would have talked about. And the truth is that those things do change dramatically. But remember, AMP is not music for intellectual change. It's music for social change. And what I really see over and over again and in every single kid in the program has less to do with the development of skills and more to do with a set of character traits that they need in order to be successful. For me, this character development boils down to four key qualities. So I want to share those with you. The first is tenacity, or in the South, grit. <laughs> when kids first start the program, they're often prone to giving up quickly, sometimes before even making a first attempt at something. But in the program, they learn to start small, to try, to try again, to try differently, and before long, we see that they're no longer intimidated by something new, and they're determined to follow through. This leads to the development of the second quality, which is discipline. Because the more determined they become to achieve the desired result, sorry, <laughs> the less supervision they need to get there. And they start to take over responsibility for their own learning. The third quality is ambition. Give kids a few successes, and they start to crave more. They stop seeing success as something that others have, and start to wonder how they can get it. The final quality, and possibly the most important, is curiosity. Curiosity is absolutely essential to success. And through music, kids can learn to be curious. Because what we're doing is giving them access to an instrument and the techniques to figure something out. Not to be handed something, but to figure something out. And when they do that, they start to draw connections and find out new things, which lead to more new things. So with the other qualities that they're already developing, once these kids are curious about something, there's really no stopping them. And that's pretty amazing. One of my favorite examples of this happened when I walked into a room one day to find one of my flute students playing a song she had learned in choir by ear on her flute. 
Just to see what would happen, I asked her to start the song on a different note and see if she could figure it out. And she did. And then, without even being asked, she tried it on a different note. Within 10 minutes, she could play the song in three different keys without any music, just because she'd been able to make those connections and was curious enough to try. So what I think these kids see when they start AMP is the chance to learn a musical instrument. But when they look back as successful adults, I think what they'll really see is what AMP gave them, a set of valuable life skills and the confidence to go for their dreams. It's not our goal to train professional musicians. It's our goal to train productive citizens who have tenacity, discipline, ambition, curiosity, and all the other qualities necessary to set a goal follow through, and live a life they love. Thank you. In just a moment, some of these kids are going to join me on stage. Um, the kids you'll see are at various levels, but most of them have only been playing their instruments for about two and a half months. So they just started with us this fall. They're going to perform three short pieces for you. The first one is Song for Maria, the second one is the Banana Boat Song, and the third one is Jingle Bells. Please enjoy. Okay. 